In this video, we will take a look at the four plans that Unity has. We will explain the tools that every plan includes and we will see the tools that not included in the free version in order to answer our main question that is Do you really need Unity Plus or Pro? If we didn't meet yet, my name is Walid from Spectra Games and I'm an indie games developer. Before starting, take a second from your time and smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm. It really helps me out to put more content for you guys and I will really appreciate it. And if you would like to see more content like this, click the subscribe button and hit the notifications bell. Let's just get into it. So Unity has 5 official plans. Personal version that is free to use as long as your revenue or funding is less than 100k in the last year. Plus version that costs $400 a year per seat as long as your revenue or funding is less than 200k in the last year. Pro version that costs $1800 a year per seat as long as your revenue or funding is more than 200k a year. Enterprise version that costs $2000 a month per seat as long as your revenue or funding is more than 200k in the last year. And finally, student version that is free to use, but we won't talk about it in this video. As everyone know, paid versions has some tools that are not available in the personal version. Let's go through them one by one. The first thing that mad people upgrade from the personal plan to the pet plan is the dark mode. A year ago, the dark mode in Unity was available in all the pet plans which are Plus, Pro and Enterprise, but wasn't available in the personal one. About a year from now, and exactly in the middle of 2020, Unity made the dark mode available in all the plans forever, and allowed people to use their paid courses for free because of coronavirus, as long as there is a quarantine. But when it ends, courses went back to their original price, but the dark mode stood available for free and forever. So let's start by the create portion in the table that contains creator's tools. As you can see, Core Unity Real-Time Development Platform is available in all the plans and that really contains all the tools you need to create a PC, WebGL, Unix, Android and iOS games. Bolt Visual Scripting is also available in all the plans which typically allows you to program scripts without any programming experience. You can check this video in which I explain everything about Visual Scripting. Flash Screen Customization is not available in Personal Plan only. This allows you to change the splash screen that appears when a game opens. You can make your logo there instead of Mad by Unity. Integration with collaboration tools allow you to get notified when an issue is detected in your game through email, Slack, Discord, Webhook or Jira from Unity teams. For example, if a user reports something about your game, it is available in all the paid versions but in the personal version you get to choose one platform for free. Unity teams advanced. 3 seats gives you a 25 GB of storage to store your projects between 3 of you. For example, if one from those 3 made a change in the game, it will be applied to all those 3 users, so they can work on the same project together easily. It is available in the Pro and Enterprise plans, but you can pay just some extra amount of money if you are a personal or plus plan user to get it. High End Art Assets Pack is an assets pack that contains a lot of models, sounds, scripts, animations, and music that you can use for free in your game. It is available in the Pro and Enterprise plans only. Build Server License Capacity It's similar to Unity Advanced, but this one helps you set up your own server to work in a team, and the space depends on the server you already have. It's available on the Enterprise plan, and you can add it to Pro plan with some extra money. Source code access gives you the ability to write code with C or C++. You can add this feature by paying some extra money in Pro and Enterprise plans, but it's not available in other versions unfortunately. Industry Specific Solution Toolkit is a toolkit that you can add in Enterprise plan of Unity by paying some extra money. It is not available in other plans, but you won't need this as a games developer because it is made specifically for industries like modeling cars for companies and something like this. Operate portion in the table contains Advanced Cloud Diagnostic that allows you to receive users' feedback and report issues with captures in real time, available in Pro, Enterprise, and Plus plans, but not in the personal one. Core Analytics give you access to all the analytics of your game to see players' behavior in order to improve gameplay and optimize monetization, available in all paid plans, but not in the personal one. Analytics exports 50 GB per month of raw data, 
a feature that gives you the ability to store all your data analytics. For example, if you want to build a database for your game, it is available in the Pro and Enterprise plans of Unity only. The monetization portion is the most important one for everyone. Luckily, its two features are available in all the plans for free. Unity Ads that allows you to implement ads in your games and in-app purchases plugin that allows people to purchase inside of your game. Last but not least, support and learning portion contains technical support that allows you to talk to Unity's team in person in case if you have a problem, available in enterprise version and you can pay some extra money to get it in pro plan. Customer success manager will connect with customers providing guidance and some resources to help them achieve what they want. It is available only in the enterprise plan. Priority access to Unity success advisors is kind of a consultation feature with Unity advisors to show you what to do when you are stuck available only in pro and enterprise plans. Priority queue for customer service. Instead of waiting like a week to get help from Unity's team, you get it immediately with this feature, available in pro and enterprise plans. Tailored learning plan. A learning advisor will work with you to assess your team's learning needs, available in just enterprise plan. Enterprise learn live sessions. Interactive learn live sessions four sessions per year for all the developers in the team available just in enterprise plan integrated success services proactive and strategic services to fuel innovation and keep your projects running smoothly you can get this feature by paying some extra price on pro and enterprise plans this is everything in the table that makes other plans special than the personal one now post the video and answer this question in the comments section do you really need a pet plan as an indie games developer? Of course no, there is nothing that's gonna prevent you from making a game, publishing it and making money from it. If I upgraded for a pet version, it would be only for one feature. It is the splash screen, because for me it is necessary to put your logo at the beginning of the game if your goal is building a brand. Other features are just consultation and stuff that you don't really need. So as a beginner indie games developer, Work safe with the personal plan and then after getting your fans base and extra money, you can upgrade to a pet plan. So this is the end of this video guys, I hope that it was helpful for you. If you made it till the end, I appreciate you so much. Give this video a thumbs up if you like it, smash subscribe and hit the notifications bell because I drop cool videos every week and you don't wanna miss them. See you in the next one.